Hi, my name's Liz Pichon and I write and draw all the Tom Gates books. Um, and this year, we're, it's a very special, special year because we're celebrating 10 years since the very first Tom Gates book was published, which was 2011. Um, we've got book 18, which is coming out in February, and that's called Tom Gates, 10 Tremendous Tales. So I'm going to be reading to you a little bit of every single one of the books. And right now I'm going to read Excellent Excuses and Other Good Stuff, which was the second book that I wrote. So where are we? Yeah, so the all Tom and his classmates, they've all gone out and they're all collecting bugs. Um, they're on a little field trip. And as usual, things don't always go to plan. Here we go. We are sitting on the grass eating our packed lunches when Solid, who looks a bit miserable, shows me the only thing he's found so far. Hmm. I think it's a half dead bug. It is a half dead bug. I'll help you find something else, I say. Solid flicks the dead bug away, which probably wasn't the best idea. The bug flies through the air and lands right on Julia Morton's sandwich. Julia screams and says she feels sick now. Mrs Mumble assures her that the bug probably fell from the tree. Me and Solid keep quiet. Unlike Marcus, who tells Julia that there is a very good reason she only has half a dead bug on her sandwich. What's that then? Julia asks. You must have eaten the other half already. The whole class goes, ooh. Julia turns green. She's the same colour as the grass now. Marcus is laughing and being particularly irritating today. Mr Fullerman tells everyone to calm down and lets Julia recover by sitting under a tree. Then he takes the rest of the class down to the pond to carry on looking for creatures. It's not going to end well, is it? <laughs> OK, now I see why I need to wear boots. Solid has already sunk down into the mud and has to be pulled out by Mrs Mumble, who's a lot stronger than she looks. Mrs Mumble tells me to keep clear of the mud in those shoes. Then Marcus adds, he should be wearing the spare boots. Mrs Mumble, shut up Marcus, I wish he'd sink down in the mud. Mr Fullerman calls us all over to see what he's been collecting in the bucket. Amongst all the slime and the weeds are some tiny little fish and other interesting things. Take turns to look, don't push, Mr Fullerman says. Marcus is pushing now. It's tricky to see exactly what's in there and Solid thinks he's seen <gasps> a water snake. You can all see, be patient, Mr Fullerman tells us. Then Mark, then he asks Mark Clump and Amber Tully Green to help carry the bucket to the grass. Norman's not great at being patient. He can't wait. And as soon as he hears Solid say water snake, he gets really excited and then accidentally trips over the twig and falls on Amber, who lets go of the bucket. Mark Clump holds on with one hand until a big frog pops out of his pocket. He'd forgotten about the frog. It leaps out and Mark tries to catch it again. Ribbit! <laughs> That's my frog noise. Mark lets go of the bucket. The bucket goes flying up in the air and all the tiny fish, weeds and slime spill out everywhere. All over Marcus. <laughs> Turns out there wasn't a water snake in the bucket after all. Just lots and lots of slime. Marcus is not happy. Solid has cheered up, though. Um, Mrs Mumble comes to the rescue with a towel. She says, oh, don't panic, I've got just the thing for this kind of emergency. Mr Fullerman and the rest of the class scoop up any fish or creatures from the ground and take them back to the pond while Mrs Mumble helps Marcus. She says, oh, thank goodness we brought the spare clothes and the spare boots. I agree. <laughs> there we go. That's Marcus. So I always remember when I was at school, particularly if you were doing PE, if ever you forgot the right clothes, you always had to wear the spare kit and it was never very nice. So that was the joke in this book. I was remembering that, um, that if you forgot the right clothes, you had to wear the spare boots. So that's Marcus <laughs> in the spare oversized coat and the boots. There we are. That's a little bit from Excellent Excuses and Other Good Stuff. Hope you enjoyed that. There's 18 more books to read if you haven't read them all.